Hi, I'm Dave Richkis in the wireless group here at Microchip at CES 2017. I'm going to show you a couple of our uh, wireless solutions in the LP WAN space. So uh, we have uh, LoRa, and uh, Microchip uh, d has developed uh, LoRa modules, as you see on this uh, development kit here, which includes a gateway and a couple moats. And uh, LoRa is a uh, long-range technology with 10 miles of range and up to 10 years of battery life on just a couple AAA batteries, for example. Uh, we uh, have developed a couple modules, uh, one for North America, 915 uh, megahertz range, and also for Europe at the 868 megahertz range. Uh, some of our customers have developed products such as this uh, LoRa mousetrap. It really is a better mousetrap, so it's monitoring, um, you know, when the trap is activated over LoRa and sends a signal back to the user so they can clear their traps, of course. Uh, other development uh, around our 8-bit, I mean our 8-channel LoRa radio card. This is a gateway radio card. Uh, customers have developed gateways such as this thing's network gateway. So this is uh, just the inside of one of the gateways just to show you guys what's all going on. Includes Wi-Fi and, uh, and the LoRa radio and Ethernet. Uh, but also IoT Architecture Group here has developed a gateway. This is an eight channel gateway and they've uh, put a server on this laptop to demonstrate and you can sh see from uh, this sensor that uh, they have, uh, it records the sensor data, <clears throat> light sensor, three temperatures, humidity, and uh, battery voltages. So that's some of our LoRa stuff. There's a lot of products in development and development platforms uh, for customers to begin um, adding LoRa to their product lines. Over here, we also support Sigfox, and we're showing Sigfox on the screen right here. So this, uh, this eval kit has been running for a few days now, and it's uh, monitoring the, R the um, RF uh, signal. And you can see it's displayed here on the screen uh, showing uh, minus 104 dBm. And uh, I've been getting emails every 15 minutes as this updates for the last three days on uh, what that RF, uh, RSSI signal is. Okay, let's take a look at some of our 15.4 solutions. Uh, we have the, uh, the Philips Hue lighting demo here. And uh, this is controlled by this um, Peso, Peso, um, Peso Electric. It's a, it's a kinetic force type of uh, remote. So push the button and uh, you're actually, it's actually being powered by your pushing of the button. It's a Peso element doing that, uh, generating that power. Our device, our RFR256 in there, it's a 15.4 15 radio, is connected to this hub and then sending the signal to these bulbs to uh, change their color or turn them off. Uh, another thing I'd like to tell you guys about is our MyY self-healing mesh network. Uh, in this demo here, you can see the route that the uh, signal is taking from this end device to the pan coordinator. And you can imagine this spread out over a large building, uh, but let's say the uh, battery dies on this or, or gets damaged somehow. The, the device has to find another route to the pan coordinator, as shown here. So this is a truly routed mesh, and it's self-healing in that as soon as this comes back online, <clears throat> its path is healed. So you, you go back to the strongest path, back to the pan coordinator. To find out more about uh, Microchip's wireless solutions, just go to www.microchip/wireless.